Hey everyone, how's it going? James here. And today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a brand new aquarium that I have. I haven't shown it at all on any of my social media profiles, so it's a, a channel exclusive. It's a brand new saltwater tank that I've been working on. The tank's been going for about three and a half months, probably roughly about that. It's really awesome. I'm really excited about showing it to you. So let's get to it. Before we get started, check out this guy. He's a pajama cardinal. I got him a few weeks back. He's still quite shy. This is my macro algae lagoon. It's uh, coming up really well. It's not about this one today, so we'll jump down and take a look at the other one. All right, guys. So here's the aquarium. It's been set up for about three months now and added the macro algae about two weeks ago. All the algae and seaweed were collected and attached from local beaches and are various native species to the UK, such as sea lettuce, serrated rack and carrageen. Some I'm still yet to identify, so if you know, drop me a message in the comments. The idea of the aquarium was to create an imitation of a na native seabed in which you might find the, in the wild using a combination of macro algae, driftwood and live rocks. Inhabitants wise, I currently have two hermit crabs which have been in the tank for about two months now and doing well. Uh, there was an emerald cra crab in the tank uh, during the time, but unfortunately I had to remove him as they have a taste for vegetation such as seaweeds and macroalgae. Currently is in his own tank at the moment, ready to be moved shortly. Hopefully in the future I'll add more animals to the tank, but as there's laws on removing animals from the wild, um, I'd rather for now keep to what I have and maybe use some other cool animals already found in the hobby. Being the hermit crabs have being kept in more tropical temperatures there's of course a heater so this isn't technically a complete representation of UK waters as they would be a lot cooler. The tank is running a filter from All Pond Solutions and a Nycrew Classic LED light um, so I'm not using any sort of marine lights on this tank. As this is the first time trying a native collected macroalgae, so I'm not sure how well they'll do in a fish tank, um, but I am interested to see what happens with them. Of course, as with anything collected and placed in an aquarium, they had been boiled and soaked prior to adding. Apart from the fact that my house now smells like a beach, the only other noticeable changes are the leach of tannins from the algae themselves and a little bit of the driftwood, so you were getting that nice brownish sort of color. I can't see them because they tend to be quite fussy, but right at the very back, there is actually two red sea anemones in this tank as well. They look absolutely awesome. This tank has been a project I've been wanting to try for a long time now, and I'm really pleased with how well it's turned out and hopefully how it matures. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and a thumbs up and let me know what you think of it in the comments below. If you want to help support the channel, all my links to my Patreon and my social media feeds are in the notes below too. And until next time, you stay safe. 